Iran has so much oil in storage that it's just like waiting to be bought. Just waiting to be bought easily, easily beyond the millions of barrels, right? I mean, w without question. Uh, this is after, of course, Trump, the, the great genius, you know, he's so anti, uh, you know, establishment, right? That he just did everything Israel wants and, uh, you know, the military industrial complex and put sanctions on Syria. He also pulled out from the nuclear deal and put sanctions on Iran. So Iran now, you know, it's much harder for Iran to sell uh, its oil uh, compared to before. OK, not impossible, but just more difficult. And Europe, you know, because Europe has now uh, isolated itself uh, again, well done from Russia. Europe needs gas. Europe needs oil. So where is this oil going to come from? Qatar is one option. There's liquefied natural gas, but this is so expensive. Another option, of course, proposed by the Americans, right, who have no economic incentive whatsoever to blow up Nord Stream and make sure that no Russian oil and gas can be bought. Um, <laughs> they also have liquefied natural gas to sell. Oh, what a coincidence, right? It just costs, you know, four times more and uh, takes, uh, has to arrive by ship and then uh, you need special um, hubs that can actually, uh, 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 you know, offload it, which don't exist. Germany doesn't even have a single one. Iran is a, p a potential contender as a, as a new source of gas and oil for Europe. Absolutely. Why not? Even to the United States, if they would, you know, if the government there or, the, or rather the corporation that runs the government would wisen up, right? Uh, so now with access to the Mediterranean Sea, think how easy it would be, good this would be economically for Iran uh, to offload all the gas and oil that, it can, that it's able to sell. You know, remember, Iran is not just one of the top uh, oil producers in the world. It, it has the second largest proven reserve of natural gas in the world. Russia is number one, Iran is number two. But you're supposed to hate them because they won't give us the resources, right? Remember that. They're evil.